In the remote highlands of Papua New Guinea, a strange affliction once haunted the four people. It began with trembling, a subtle shake in the hands, feet slipping over dirt paths, laughter, but not from joy, uncontrollable, maniacal, empty. This was Kuru, the laughing death, a disease born from ritual cannibalism, where mourners honored the dead by consuming their flesh, including the brain. What they didn't know was that brain tissue carried a prion, a misfolded protein that turned the human mind into a melting sponge. No bacteria, no virus, no cure, just slow decay, speech slurred, eyes widened, then d <laughs> collapse. You'd watch your sister collapse into seizures, your mother laugh while her eyes begged for help, death within months. In 1957, Dr. Carlton Gajdusek documented Kuru among the four people. Over 2,700 deaths were recorded. By 2005, the last known Kuru patient died, decades after the cannibal rituals had ended. But the prion can incubate silently for over 30 years. Even now, Kuru could be waiting inside someone. There's no treatment, no vaccine, only trembling, laughter and death. Subscribe for more real-world nightmares unfolding inside the human body. Truth is sicker than fiction.